Hi friends, in this video I'll be making a bento lunchbox comprising of soba with seaweed, yuba roll stuffed with glutinous brown rice, sesame miso sauce, and grilled squash. The squashes are tossed in a sesame marinade and broiled until golden brown. The sesame miso sauce is used as a dressing for the soba as well as a dipping sauce for the yuba rolls. Start by soaking some glutinous brown rice in water. Leave to soak overnight in the fridge. Soak some dried shiitake in hot water. Soak some dried wakame in room temperature water. Dried yuba usually comes in large sheets, so you'll want to cut it into the proper size for the rolls. This stuff's really brittle, so be careful not to break it up too much since we want to have large intact sheets to make the rolls. Soak it in water until soft. To make the sauce, add ground mustard to a bowl. Add miso, tahini, rice vinegar, maple syrup, and water. Whisk till very smooth. Transfer to a small leak-proof container. Put on a pot of water for the soba and bring to a boil. Add the soba and cook briefly until cooked through but still retains some bite. Strain it and quickly cool it down in cold water. Strain it dry once it is chilled. Strain the soaked wakame. Add the soba and wakame to a large bowl. Toss it in a touch of sesame oil to keep it loose. If you want to keep this 100% whole foods, adding sesame oil is completely optional. To make the marinade for the squash, add tahini to a bowl. Add garlic powder, iodized salt, maple syrup, and a touch of water. Mix until well combined. Toss in some sliced kabocha and zucchini. Lay it out on a baking rack and pop it in the oven. Set it to broil. Flip the squash when the top side is caramelized and then continue to broil it. Remove from the oven once it is golden brown. To make the stuffing for the yuba rolls, strain the soaked rice and add it to a large bowl. Strain the soaked shiitake and slice it up. Add it to the bowl along with carrots, 
green onion ginger white pepper soy sauce and Han Mirin mix well lay out a sheet of soaked yuba Add a couple spoons of rice and roll it up like a Chinese burrito. Yuba is a Chinese word, right? Or maybe it's a Korean word? Kind of like how kimchi is a Japanese word, right? Seal the ends with a mixture of soy flour and water. Cut off any excess yuba. Next, steam the rolls. You can either steam it in a digital pressure cooker for at least 18 minutes or over a pot of water on the stovetop for at least 30 minutes. To assemble the bento box, add the sopa to one side of the container. Fill up half the container with the squash. Fill in the blanks with the yuba rolls. Finally, sprinkle on some toasted sesame seeds. Pack it up along with the sauce, a piece of fruit, and a pair of chopsticks. But I can't use chopsticks, you say? Well, gotta switch it up then. When ready to eat, toss the soba with some sauce. You can use the sauce as a dipping as well. Thanks for watching friends.